All right, folks, welcome back. <clears throat> uh, it's about 4 p.m. on this uh, beautiful Thursday, 23rd, 23rd of March, uh, 43 degrees. <clears throat> Things are becoming an absolute <clears throat> mess, but uh, that's, just, that's just normal. If we want good ground, we got to put up with a mess first. You can see some of the snow plowing. <laughs> That's going to be fun here in a little while. But what are you going to do? You can't be perfect. There's a bunch of perfect people out there. I ain't one of them. <clears throat> I truly believe one of the big difference makers this spring we're going to have a mess here, but a big difference maker is I don't believe there's a whole lot of frost in the ground. Um, that's that's going to help significantly. I did something here this evening <clears throat> that I really don't need to be doing already, but uh, it's going to be once in a while. That's given this lot some grain. So, I need to get my butt in gear and do my pickings. The absolute goal is 20 kept back heifers in good size condition and everything else. 10 of them I'm keeping, 10 of them I'm putting up for sale privately. Uh, and the rest, the rest are going to a feeder sale. In roughly two weeks, I need to collect them, run them through the chute, proper vaccinations, a uh, pour on warmer. Because uh, two weeks after that, they end up at the sale. So between these here, of course, this is a this is a little runt here. I don't recall the number, but I, I'm pretty damn sure that this uh, this one right here was within the. Uh, the barn during the brunt of winter. Same with these two little guys here. But between these and those that stayed up there. The reason for the grain once in a great while is for a small amount of training. <coughs> Excuse me. For when I keep, I'm keeping the heifers that I'm keeping in here and they're going to be uh, AI bred in here as well. Start them on some grain. There's going to be a certain point of the year where these little, uh, these troughs here, these feeders are going to go away. And I'm going to actually use the stanchion setup. Just like every year. It's a brute right there. Got a collection of some nicer steers here. Fair anyway. It's gonna make somebody happy. See what happens. Seeing something? We got a problem with the back end on this. We'll take a look at that later. All right, that's about it. Nothing very interesting. Uh, it's gone for multiple days. Uh, all's well. That's it, folks. I'm simply checking in, saying, saying hello. Cows are doing fantastic. <clears throat> fantastic. They're uh, <laughs> they're all fat, comfortable. They're calm. 
it's kind of that time of the year when you run out there with feed, they don't even get up right away because <clears throat> they don't care to. They just want to, you know, lay down because they're comfortable. Uh, per calendar, if I'm not mistaken, it's about 13 days. Uh, a little shy per calendar of uh, first, uh, first due date. Um, now, naturally, it's going to be earlier than that, but it, it's, it's coming. It's coming quick. And, of course, I'm in the yard multiple, multiple times a day. Right now, I can get away with taking the gator in the yard. But uh, once that ground really loosens up, it's going to have to be tractor. <clears throat> and uh, taking a look, look, watching for, uh, you know, any action starting, that or problems. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I am ready. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah, we're going to have one hell of a mess here. But, uh, I got to chase down a whole bunch of feed tomorrow. Run in a, a couple multiple loads. Not a huge deal. I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning, though. Tomorrow morning, we're going to have about 17 degrees and uh, ground conditions and uh, uh, to include field conditions will be a, a hell of a lot better instead of putting a uh, imprint in the ground. So that's it. Checking in, saying hello. Hope everybody's doing okay. We're going to talk to you much sooner than later.